Everything that is known about Baron Herx can be read about in the book History of Baron Herx by Edward H. Golden III, Coat of Knowledge. The history of Baron Herx is a bleak and dark one. But what can I tell you about him that you haven't heard from the ghastly stories we've been told about Hamlet? What if I told you it doesn't all start in Hamlet? Indeed, Herx, the man, did exist for a time, prior to his governance of the cursed town. Through blood, luck, or money, Herx gained influence among the nobles. Eventually, the president and his cabinet became indebted to Herx. The recompense? Hamlet. While Hamlet had been prospering magnificently, news of the wealthy and influential baron taking over as mayor struck the citizens with hope. Hamlet was a productive mining town with flourishing industries and trade of every kind at the time, of course. Their love of the Baron lasted at least until his arrival. Offering consummate wealth if successful, Herx commissioned the people of Hamlet with an ambitious dig. Seeking ancient gold, all the working folk of Hamlet abandoned their trades, while Herx's company provided logistical necessities. Within weeks, the Hamlet economy dwindled. While the citizens were merry hard workers for a time, each new depth broken brought with it a new layer of hopelessness. Herx's goods exploded in cost, and the citizens' wages accreted taxes as the Baron services compensated for Hamlet's dying industry. In practice, his policy overworked and taxed the people into poverty with unprecedented rapidity. Survivors reported Baron's grin growing more widely with each new stage of suffering. Eventually, they were working just to survive and in debt. His merchant army wouldn't allow them to leave without repaying their debt in taxes. The citizens reported the growing hatred they held for their new master. He can't be human. No human could possibly be this evil. Lords above, help us if so. They had nowhere to go. They mined literally all day and night for a master who demanded gold in a mine that only produced copper, zinc, tin, and coal. Piles of unprocessed ore choked the town's streets. Interested parties long since satisfied with warehouses filled with the excess. The people came up with a plan. They would tell Herx they struck gold at the bottom floor of the mine. Upon his arrival, they would barricade him in and lock up the mine head. They would then leave him to die there, and the people of Hamlet would take their city back. The plan worked, but not forever. Nobody knows exactly what happened to Baron Herx down in the mines. However, his will haunts any who dare step foot nearby. His vengeful hatred lives on. The church claims that an incubated evil will awaken the forces of hell itself, and the Hunter's Guild believes this to be the origin of the undead monster known as a Lich. With that power, Herc summoned an army of darkness to seize upon Hamlet and annihilate his citizens. If the Hunter's Guild is to be believed, he has formidable magic at his disposal, and the denizens of Hell itself may be at his beckon. The Baron no longer needed to escape the mines, risk-seeking adventurers and lost humans wander their way into his lair, where he perhaps feasts on their flesh. Evidence shows there are still humans who are descendants of the survivors of the Hamlet incident, who have set up civilization in the mines. They carry a revolutionary spirit, but must know things will never be the same. With hope, 
One day I will be able to append this book with their legacy.